just two massive red peppers. You really need the red peppers to be big here. And what we're going to do, we're not going to cut the top off. We're just going to split it in half like that, a little bit all around. Make sure to go where the curve is, basically. And then you're just going to dig in and remove all these seeds here, you see here, without breaking the red pepper. Now we're just going to take a little bit of olive oil and put that right on top of our peppers. And then we're just going to put a little bit of pepper and salt to them. And then we're going to put this in the oven until just until they get a little tender, but we really want to keep that crunch in. Next we're going to do a really quick salsa, so I'm just going to grab, um, I've got a nice tomato here, right? We're going to cut through it, but not all the way through, just like that. And then on the sides as well, just so we can cube everything nicely. That, it's nice and juicy, and we're going to keep all that inside. And then we're going to do the same thing with the avocado, so right through. Now to this we're just going to add a couple of capers, I got 10 capers here and I'm just going to squash them out a little and then I'm just going to give them a really, really rough chop. Alright, place that right in here. And I'm not going to add onions here because um, I want the pepper to really give me that brightness so we get it from there. And in here I just add a little bit of citrus, about half a lemon inside the mix and we're just going to put some salt and pepper and done. Now I've got a hot pan going, I'm just going to add half a white onion inside with some olive oil. And then to this mix I'm going to add about 250 grams of unseasoned uh, ground beef. And then what we're going to do is we're going to cook it out, get it nice and crispy um, together and make sure that everything separates properly. Add some salt, some pepper, um, add some cayenne, a little bit of dash of cayenne, a dash of onion powder as well. And then we're going to put just a teaspoon of cumin powder and then the rest of the Once it's cooked through, we're just gonna get a big bunch of parsley. Really give it a rough chop, nothing fancy at all. And we're gonna put that right in there into the beef. And then we're gonna finish off again with a bit of salt. Just keep tasting it to make sure that the food's right when it's going. Once the red peppers are like this, just a little soft to the touch, but they still hold their own. And you know they're basically ready and they're on. Really simply enough to finish everything off, um, we're gonna grab one of our red peppers, put it right on a plate like this. You see how it holds perfectly? So we're gonna use that. And then now we're gonna take our beef and we're just gonna slowly fill, not too much, just you really wanna cover the bottom of it with our beef and onion mixture right here. Okay. So I'm putting about half of the total mixture because you know, we need space for the other stuff as well. Um, then I'm just gonna finish up with our avocado and tomato mixture, which we have here. I'm going to spoon that in as well. On top of that, I'm going to take some shredded iceberg lettuce. I love iceberg lettuce because I love the crunch it brings and it's such a filling type of ingredient without it being um, too high in calories and it's just a great base for any type of dish you want to make. And then once we have that on top, we're going to add a bit more parsley. So just some parsley leaves here and there, just like that. And then we're going to finish off with a little bit of, I like to put some walnuts in there as well. So some walnuts, okay. And then we're going to put, of course, let's talk without cheese, right? So we're just going to put some nice full fat cheese right on top, like that. I'm going to add a little bit of sour cream right on top, not much, just a good dollop like that just to make sure that everything comes together perfectly. Then I'm going to finish off with some cracked black pepper and then some nice sea salt to go on top of the whole thing. And there you have it, you have a really simple taco-less taco. Then, if you want, you can finish the whole thing like I did. I dusted it with a little bit of paprika, and uh, I'm gonna use uh, some hot sauce. Actually, these are, this is locally made hot sauce, so it's cool. A couple of drops of that right on top, just to give it that heat that tacos you like have. And then you're basically good to go.
And just to show you what I mean, look at this, this beautiful piece of food right here. Um, I'm just gonna grab it with both hands. And you can eat it. Just like a taco, it stays together, of course, it's more flimsy. So the sauce will come out, but it's just as good, trust me. Mmm. Sorry, I'm missing it. It's really good.